Rebecca, you know my involvement in international politics, which spanned for almost three decades. I think, uh, as I said, I do support the institution of the ICC, but the way the chief prosecutor has gone about his business, he has reinforced a, a very wrong uh, uh, perception of Africa that all crimes in the world, all corruptions are all in Africa. Uh, and I know that uh, we have very serious problems in other areas where I, I was involved working, and yet you never, never, and I know the reason why. The reason, to, in my view, is Africa is the weakest link in the international system. And anyone can take on Africa and make a lot out of it. For example, when we come to the issue of Konya, you know you come from that area. Konya has been there for a long time. And what really disturbed me is when I read that the chief prosecutor actually endorsed that uh, documentary. And we should not forget those who have followed the concerns of the, the development in Uganda, that when we went through the Juba process, we came to the point where we almost had an agreement. And what was the problem? The inflexibility of the chief prosecutor made it difficult for that agreement to be signed. The government of Uganda, which actually brought the case to the ICC, the people of northern uh, Uganda ask that there be a trial in him. Uganda. An international support and the ICC said no. And what is the consequence? Konye continues his massacre and killings of innocent people in Africa. And I think this is what I mean by the, the need for some kind of judicial restraints, uh, not too much activism when Africa is concerned. That's are, the, are the consequences. So I understand what those who made the documentary want to do, but it is not comprehensive enough uh, and it shows that people have very short attention span and it creates a very wrong impression that all massacres of children are only found in Africa.